Good afternoon, everyone. It's Saturday, uh, about 10 to 1 o'clock on the 7th of January. For the uh, Eastern European friends that are following, a uh, happy Christmas to you. Um, wasn't feeling all that well today, uh, this week, but I feel a lot better now. Um, had a bit of a cold, so I was happy to be able to feel better enough today to uh, bring you this little tour of Gory Town. Now, Gory Town is just on the north side of Wexford, on the county. Uh, so it's about an hour and 20 minutes from Dublin, and it's about 50 minutes from Wexford. So what I did is I walked downtown, went to my chemist, and did my. then I went to grab the bus. The first bus there brought me right up into Gory City. Now, Gory is known for the uh, it's a shopping uh, marketplace of Wexford. Um, a lot of people come down and do their shopping. It's a prime location. So I'm going to show you a walk around the street. We're going to look at all the shops. I'm going to, it's close to a lot of other places. There's a lot of, I'll, I'll go through them all and I'll sh tell you what about, you know, there's Court Town, which is about 10, 12 minutes drive away, which is a nice beach area and they have like Pirate's Cove. I'll put the link in uh, below that shows you what Pirate Cove is. It's good for like, kids and that. It's like little golf things. There's a nice beach really close to here. Um, there's a, Wells House, it's a big old Georgian mansion that has, uh, you can go there for tea and stuff. And there's a lot of different aspects. Now I'll go through all of them and I'll list them all. So maybe when I'm walking around, I'll, I'll, I'll read through all the different options. But basically, primarily, it's a shopping town. So we'll go through and we'll see what Gory Town has to offer on a Saturday in January. So I took the uh, the bus that's right there. The, uh, Bus air, uh, bus air and bus. It was 10 euros and 50 cents to go from Wexford Town at Redmond Square. And like I said, it takes about 50 minutes. So here's a little gelato shop, milkshake. Permanent TSB of banks. Like I said, I walk down from this side go around the other side we'll get a few sideways well there's a regatta store so if you're going hiking and that they have some decent sales on especially in January here's some kitty shoes well it's more than just kitty shoes but what a nice little clothes in there the deals now this is Poundland in the uh, the UK and basically it's everything's like used to be a, a buck a euro or a pound fifty now. Now they're coping up to two euros. Here's some rock. Is uh, it's a takeaway, fast food. It doesn't look to be open yet. Morning. And then we have uh, Thomas Fungi. So it's another shop. Like I said, there's a lot of little boutiques and shops. And here we have Joanne's uh, Cafe. Now they have one of these in Wexford Town. If you look at the Wexford Town blogs, you might see it. And basically, if you want to have like baked goods and like breakfasts and stuff, here's some side tracks. We're gonna cross over this. No oh, boy, can. It's a busy little town. Now a, a bit about Gory. It's one of the fastest growing, like a, because of the uh, the lack of housing that there's available in Ireland. Gory has become a gateway for people to commute to go to work in Dublin City so the population of Gory and the surrounding areas has skyrocketed. Here's a super value. They're located all over. There's a nice one in uh, Pettits in St. Aidan's uh, in Wexford Town. We usually go there if you want fine food and stuff and good vegetables and fruits. They tend to be a little bit more pricier than the uh, the Aldi's and Littles of the world. Here's an electrical store book station. This is where you want to get your books. Like I said, it's a bit of everything. Here's a casual collection. Try to cross over without getting killed. And what do we have here? This doesn't look like to be a signage, eh? Here it is. It's a eatery. Lawrence Murphy and Sons Restaurant. So there's the prices. Like I said, there's a lot of little shops and boutiques. 
on the outskirt of uh, Glory Town, there's a big, huge Tesco, and then they have a petrol station at Apple Green, that has some other shops in there. Here's Collins Boutique, Skyfall, another boutique. Like I said, heavy on the boutique side. So like I said, it's a big shopping area. So a lot of people can commute down from like Wicklow, Arco, uh, Dublin, and come in for a day trip. Uh, people from the uh, south of the county can come up to Gory. Like it's not that far. And it's handy to get to by bus. I, I just grabbed the Wexford bus, uh, which was handy for me because I was right at Redden Square. Or you could take the uh, the Wexford bus, uh, the bus here in, uh, or Wexford bus. There's two options, and they usually be between a half hour. So if you miss one, you can get the other one. Personally, I prefer the Wexford bus. Um, it just, I, I don't know, I find their buses a lot cleaner. Um, and they're actually a little cheaper, and it's a privately run, whereas Bus Aaron is. Is a, a public run bus day, uh, company. So obviously they have a burden of commuting all over the country and stuff. So the buses tend to be more used completely. So here we are walking outside. This is the going out towards, if you were heading out towards Arco and that. So I'm not gonna go too, too far up. We're just, I'm just turning the first corner. We're gonna see there's a little up here and then a petrol station. And then there's a K petrol station all the way at the end. So we'll cross back over. We're gonna walk down that way. Now here's a big restaurant pub, the coach house. Get to see the different uh, views of it. It's a nice sunny day right now. I know in Wexford town, when I was walking into town, it started, it was rainy. Uh, but supposedly it's supposed to be sunny except for one hour in the afternoon up in Gory. The rest of it's sunny. Um, they call this the sunny southeast. That's also what it's known for um, So it does have like I said the boutique shops and nice weather and a nice beach as well Court town uh, like I said is not far So it's a handy place if you want to come down for make this a hub to travel and see all different parts of Wexford Laundry service We'll take a look on the air side on the way we come back Here's a property agency. What the hell's they're going for? Look at this one. Now we can do 900 grand, it's asking. Sandy Lane, Bella Money, that's near the beach. Like I said, that's 595. Like I said, it's a very person. Here's another holiday travel agents. People are getting back into traveling. I know it was hard for the two years being locked up, but like I said, things had to be done. Just as a side note, I actually wore a mask on the Wexford, on the bus air and going up to Gory because when I went to uh, Belfast, if you want to see the vlogs on the Belfast vlogs, they're, you know, they're actually being quite popular. Um, myself and Emily went up on bus and then came back on bus and we didn't wear masks. And then when I came back, I started to get a, the flu symptoms and I was sort of sick for about five days. Um, now, everyone's personal opinion, you can do what you want, it doesn't matter. But I think uh, in future, when I'm in a bus or a plane, I might wear a mask just because uh, there was a lot of people coughing and sneezing on the bus and you're in a tight location. I don't really buy having to wear it in shops and stuff, but I think in a closed base, you know, myself personally, I'm gonna do that in the future. Here's another wedding agent, an agency, property management. Like I said, but properties are scarce. And then we're saying that and we're walking by a vacant property. I know there is a lot of vacant properties in Ireland. Uh, quite a lot, I think it's like, like 200,000 properties. So in the time when we have a shortage of housing, there's a lot of vacant old properties, derelict properties, but it takes a lot of money to get them up and running and find out who the owners are because you know the owners could have passed away and their houses so here's a little indian european cuisine it's closed a sala house too bad i would like to see what that's like i'll probably stop in somewhere and get a coffee or tea or maybe a pint i don't know we'll see these are all the old buildings this looks like something that a Horse would carriage would come out of on the main street doing deliveries and stuff. 
and then we're walking toward the I guess the bridge there we'll cross over here at the crosswalk there's not much more on that side there's a few little boutiques right. here we go there's a boutique there and a lingerie place and enable Ireland so that's basically a charity shop My partner loves these I like going in there sometimes for books see if they have old books especially travel books you know sometimes you can pick up an old travel book uh, for one euro one euro fifty two euros the most whereas you buy them new they're about almost 30. young food Chinese takeaway smoky so I think it that's a vape shop they're all over the country and the north Here we see. So if you have any suggestions of where a place I want to see, like I said, Gori just popped up. I it came to me that it's a major city and a vacation spot for some people. So I thought it'd be good to show options of what you can do if you're in Dublin coming down for a trip, or if you're in Wexford and you want to come up or anywhere in the world, that Gori is another option for you because of the, the proximity of all these other things that I'm gonna I'll explain to you and to show you in the in the description of places to go with their links so it's a very handy spot here's the shoes all about feet half price display lush beauty glory cycle a lot of bikes are up and about nowadays it's very popular especially the electric bikes the e-bikes no I personally think that the roads are narrow, a lot of traffic, but it is very popular now. And since the, uh, you know, the pandemic, a lot of people got back to walking, riding, uh, biking everywhere. Um, and also pets, a lot of dogs during the pandemic. <clears throat> Kate's home and gift shop. Let's see what they have there. diamonds doesn't look to be open <clears throat> now January is usually at the end of January it's uh, particularly quiet so a lot of places would close for holidays for themselves especially after a busy Christmas period here's the gas lamp gallery that's one of the options I looked up online so it's a, it's an art studio an art gallery and they say this is one of the places you can go and take a look Let's see Remember we were at, uh, here's Owen O'Connor's, he's another one, he's, he exhibits at the, uh, during the uh, Wexford uh, Opera Festival, <clears throat> and I think he was in the uh, Talbot, so if you see the, uh, the Opera Festival vlog, you can you see those, some of those, there's the other side of the view of the coach house, which is on the corner, here you see the sign for Court Town, Holly Canoe, Holly Edmund, Here's Lloyd's Pharmacy, chemist. And then we'll take, we're on St. Michael's Road. We'll take a walk down here, and then we'll continue on back up the street. Remember, uh, if you like these uh, vlogs, please, uh, I'm trying to grow the channel, so would you like to subscribe? Uh, hit the like button and the bell button. It helps with the algorithms of the uh, channel to show it out, because I like said I'm going to be going, want to go still to two places in the south of Ireland, in Wexford. It's the, uh, the I want to go to uh, the Hook Lighthouse and Tinder Abbey. And then I'm open for anywhere else. So here's another charity shop, the NCBI. It's actually a quite large one. New to you. It's on the other side. There's Adriano's Fish and Chip and Burgers. Here's an old solicitor's shop. Chartered Accountants, Sean Brennan. And then Deverix Dental and Orthodontics. In Wexford, they say Deverix. Where I'm from, it's Devereux. 
But I guess I got in the habit of saying Deverix. And there's another estate agent, Kinsilis. There's a big pharmacy, Wheelins, in the corner. And then there's a Talk to Tom, so that's another charity shop over there. St. Michael's Church car park all day. And then look at the big church there. I wonder which way you get into it. Probably keep going this way a little bit. Maybe we'll take a walk on there. There's another pharmacy, Chemist Gory Farmy. Like I said, there's even in Wexford Town, I know there's a lot of chemists. There's Michael's Parish Hall reception. And then let's see if we can get into this side or we'll make our way some way to it. Here's the Gory Medical Center. Connected to the Gory Pharmacy. Now this looks like to be the parochial house, so that's where the, the priests and that stay. And then the church will be right beside it. There's St. Vincent de Paul, another charity shop. They said lots of charity shops. And we get to go in and see what the church looks like. Wow, it's nice, nice grounds. So, hope you're enjoying it so far. I, I'm enjoying it. I haven't been up to Gory myself personally. Um, went one time with the uh, Wexford ladies football team. There's a place just outside of the Gory town called The Stables. I'll leave that link in below as well. And if you have like a, a sports club or that, it's good for bonding session or maybe even work group. It's a nice little old stables that's been changed its fit for purpose and they it's good for bonding session. They have an obstacle course that you can run. It's a short one or a long one. Like the short one's like 5K, the long one's 10K. And then they have like all these obstacles and different little things that they do inside the facility as well. Really handy and it's, it's a good experience. So that's just outside of Gory Town. So here's a big old cross. And then the church, St. Michael's Church, named after your, your man yourself. My, my church. And then look at the buildings there behind her. That's really nice. We'll take a look, see what's on this side. There's old, look at old, the old iron cross uh, graves. Okay. A lot of them there. And then we'll see what's on this side. That's locked up, so here looks like another residence there, so and then we'll and then we'll go on this side here. And these big Christmas trees to the church entrance. I wonder if we could take a look inside. Yes, I took my hat off, just out of respect and habit, I guess. <clears throat> now we'll see what the side part is, and then we'll continue on back on the, uh, the walk around. Oh wow, this is nice, eh? Look up a bit. You can see all the houses surrounded, eh? Like they're just going in. They're all relatively newly built. You know, a lot of the towns, a lot of the houses in Wexford, especially in Wexford Town, a lot of them, the inside made up, they're really old. They're a couple hundred years old. They go back in time. Whereas the population boom, like even in Wexford Town now, there's a lot of new builds everywhere um, trying to meet up with the uh, demand for for the uh, the housing needs that we have. So let's... In here, look up there. So that's very nice, nicely done. Now we'll just make our way back to the main street there and we'll get going. I'm going to turn it off while we walk back. 
Okay, we're back on to the uh, Wheelands Pharmacy where we came up, just got out of the uh, got out of the uh, churchyard. So, and now we're just walking up, back up to the main street. We're going to turn to the left. Like I said, here's that other charity shop that we walked by. Okay, well we're getting going here. Here's a little another art gallery. So that's the third one we've seen looking into, you know, Gory Village. There's an Ulster Bank, like I said on the other previous videos. They're on the way out of Ireland. So all the people had to change their mortgages and stuff. So they'll be gone at the ferry soon. Here's an ABS, which is for mortgages. Computer Solutions, Gory Computer Solutions. 100 Degrees Restaurant and Buying. Hi, how are you? You can sit down. Contra Clothing. Value Mart. Home and DIY. So right now we're opposite the book station. Still a lot of Christmas decorations. I think they go cheaper. Baker Street. This is Sun Owl. Phone Care. I have a few of these in Wexford. They're all over the place. Partridges, Ice Coffee Bistro. It's a place where you sit in and have a coffee. Shoes for you. Dipstick Boutique. So another ladies clothes. Fifth Avenue. So you can see why uh, Gory is known for the boutique area of Wexford. Like a lot of shopping places, but not much down that way. So Sue Ryder Shop, which is another charity shop. And we keep going up this street. So here is Luck Arm and Arms. So it's a pub. Oh yeah, House of Cards. I like they sell more in cards there, I guess, gifts various. And then, Miller Cafe. So you'd go upstairs and they'd have coffee, cakes, tea, even wine and Prosecco if you want. Beeson's Bookstore. House to Home. This reminds me a little bit like Barker's on the main street of Wexford or Cavanaugh's in Minnesota. And what do we have here? Another, the Book Cafe and Bistro. And Boots Pharmacy. Fair size one. The one in Wexford is quite large. And obviously the one when we were in Belfast is massive. A couple of floors. Here's a Sports Direct. So if you want to get your sports apparel, they have one in Wexford town as well. We're getting close to where we started. Remember, that was the gelato coffee place that we seen when we first got off. Here's another Warren Estates. Like I said, there's a, a lot of estates agencies. Hello. Bob's Lounge. And we got Cool Kids, kids store. Adler's Jewelers. You ever notice when they have these displayed on the windows, they never have the prices. They're always hidden away, I guess, to keep you in. 
get you in the door so you can ask questions, I guess. Bargain stand. This looks like all little knickknacks and oh, interesting little shop. Gift ideas, household gardening tools, school bags, picture frames, religious items, and Irish souvenirs. So, a bit of everything. Jack Dunn, formal wear. Kate Bailey's restaurant. Nice door sign with the stained glass windows. Let's see what the prices are. Yeah, they're reasonable. Uh, you know, toasted sandwich is uh, eight euros, seven euros for a veg option, the grill of the day, so catch of the day, fillet burger, 13.50, seafood pasta, 15 euros, falafel burger, 13. So that's the price line that you're looking at. And then, Smith Burn Solutions. So here's another phone shop, computer gadget place. Gift me shoes. A bit of everything around here. We'll go back on the other side again when we come back our way down. So this is close for lunch. Um, what is it? Uh, Gory Visitor Center. Oh, interesting. We'll make our way up to the top of the town. There's a big cross there and then we'll walk our way back down. And try to find somewhere to have Coffee, tea, or something, or pint, or we'll see. Here's another vape shop. Addy Powers. That's the first bookies I've seen. Oh, here they are. They're in competition. There's Boyle Sports and Patty Powers. McGovern's. There's a big pub that goes all the way back there. And I believe that down there in the corner on the back, that's the, the courthouse of Gory. So, wait. here's the East Coast Coffee sort of coffee shop. Looks like having people having breakfast and that, so it's more coffee. Here's a little convenience store. Gory, so you can come in here and get coffee as well. And, Little bits and bits and sweets. McCabe's Pharmacy. Like I said, a lot of chemists in Ireland. Black Amber. So it's a hair stylist. Miles Doyle Fine Wines. Select Grocer. Oh, that's just a string. Places for lease. No more work up here. Oh, we'll walk to the left here, I think. And then we'll cross over and we'll keep going. See, there's actually quite a lot to see around Gory. More than I was uh, anticipating. I thought it was just like, you know, a few shots, but there is quite a bit. You know, makes your while for taking the 50 minute uh, bus ride. Yeah, you can probably get up here in about a half an hour in a car um, from Wexford Town because the bypass, they have a, an auto route to motorway that goes right up. So it cuts out of going through Inniscordy Ferns, Oilgate, or it's just after Oilgate, I think. But yeah, so it's, it's really handy. Here's some more real estate agents. Here's a nice old post office. Moorings bespoke for a, a jewelry. Interesting. And then here's the old post office. I like these old buildings and the red brick. How are you? And yeah, there's the, the entrance way. So the courthouse is somewhere on that side. Now Wexford Town has one, a huge one, and then I think this is in there one. So here we'll cross over here. And like I said, who can we find here? There are chemists. Lots of chemists. You wonder how they could stay busy, uh, stay in business. 
you know, what are other uh, shops that are finding it hard? But uh, the cameras seem to be fried. I wonder if it's because everyone's sick. Well, that doesn't look good. That's rubbish and that. I don't like that. I know it's a Saturday, but Saturday should be clean. Like the Bistro restaurant looks closed. Happy New Year. And Me Street. They have one of these in Wexford Town as well. So they have a sister business on this side. They're very, it's an Asian food. It's really nice. The one in uh, Wexford Town is located right in Redmond Square. Just where I jumped on to get the bus. Here's Wexford bus heading up to Dublin. We'll probably be taking that one on the way back, heading back home. Well, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. I'll probably uh, edit this video tomorrow morning and then try to upload it. So it'll be uploaded Sunday evening, let's say. Depends on the speed of the internet and the speed of my fingers in editing, so we'll see. Here's Nell Sweeney's bar. Looks like an old traditional one. The old hurl in the window. Very quiet. Restaurant Pizzeria Echo PCO. I don't know. Here's another place to get your hair done. Gibbons Florist. Here's AIB, which is a bank. Anglo-Irish Bank. Here's the Gardashi Akana, the police barracks for glory. You can see that's an old traditional one. Wexford had one similar to that, but luckily they got a facelift. Uh, geez, it must be about eight, nine years ago now. They got a nice fit for a purpose barracks. So that's what a guard of barracks looks like in our one. In Wexford Town. And here's, this looks like to be a Church of Ireland. No, nicely well kept. And these nice old buildings, like original buildings that you'd have. Yeah, Church of Ireland. It's the uh, Christ Church Parish Glory. Okay, as I'm walking up through the town of Gory, one towards the cross, I just wanted to tell you about there's a few places like Kiora Mini Farm. I'll have the links all at the bottom of the description later on. There's Wells House and Gardens. Um, there's the Court Town Woods. And there's also the Seal Sanctuary in Court Town. And the Bally Money Beach, which is very nice. There's also the uh, Pirate's Cove area. If you have young kids and that, there's like uh, arcades, amusement, uh, crazy golf, and all that. It's really, really interesting for the kids. Um, the Alpaca Lodge. It's, so the, uh, there's a farm that has alpacas, and you can go and take a look at them. And also you have the stables, like I'd mentioned before. Um, their uh, their link's going to be at the uh, bottom of the description. So as we make our way up, we'll have just some listen to some music till we get to the cross. Tesco Extra. It's a, it's a large Tesco. It's similar to the ones that we have in Wexford. It has all sorts of grocery items, like fresh, frozen, 
you have uh, clothes to buy stuff and they have appliances TVs cell phones a whole bunch of stuff we get and they usually have um, they usually have gas or petrol station associated so here we are we have two sets of uh, cannons I'm gonna walk in here I got my trusty hiking boots on so not to worry about the water look at the old style with the the wooden frames so they'd be aiming down towards the main street here erected by people of North Wexford to the martyrs of 1798 so again Wexford's known for the 1798 rebellion and then here we have a sign Miles Byrne United Irishman 1780 1862 Montesquieu Gory so he was one of the leaders of the 1798 rebellion let's see if we get that get a picture with the uh, cross in the background for maybe let's try it this side maybe the sun There we go. Now we'll make our way across. We'll go back down that way. Head to the town again to see on the other side of it. And then we'll see if I can get myself a cup of tea. Hi, how are you? A cup of tea or coffee or maybe a pint. A pint of Guinness. What might interest you when you do come to lecture? I don't know what this looks like here, but it's obviously something religious. It's uh, don't say gory 1619 to 2019. Wonder if it's like a, a old a residence, an old age home, or it has that broken, it looks like an old hospital. I doubt if it's used as a hospital today. Uh, oh no, it is. District Hospital Gori. So, it's Gori District Hospital. Hmm, interesting. If you, if you know what exactly what it is and they want to help me out, please comment below. Um, you know, it always helps myself and it helps people that are maybe curious about it. Now you see we're walking back in towards the town so you have the Church of Ireland on the right hand side there. somewhere so, they, so a lot of people have to come in here to get papers stamped and signed for like passports and you know permission of the oaths and all that stuff so it's not it's it's a community service area too it's not just picking up bad guys so here it is gory garda barracks 1922 to 2022 so it's 100 years old Fair age on the building. Some nice little houses back there. We'll take a look, see if we can see in there. See if you can see it in there. And we'll see them when they put the, um, the balconies in the back. I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro. Be interesting. Harlequin Records. Yeah, records are all back in that way. The plastic, look at the vinyls. 
I personally don't listen to music that much, uh, but you know, it's, to each their own. So here's the um, the menu of the pizza. What they have, so the prices. They have a vegan one too. Yeah, and they have a bit of everything. Burgers, they have a wine list, desserts. Bit of everything. So we're getting towards the end of the town again, like our, for as far as our little tour. Once I find some place to have something to eat and a drink or whatever. So we're right opposite the El Sweeney's again. There's the old 64. It's like another pub. I think we missed that one when we walked up. This way, blew right by it. Here's a, what's this? It's a bike shop. And Brown's, so there's Brown's pub. There's a the Brown's pub in Luxford town. Just up uh, Bishop's Water. And then there's a little spot here. Let's we'll go up and down here. And we're almost done the tour. Let's we'll see if there's anything up here. And we'll come back down. Some carpets in the window there. Eye stylus hair salon. There's a gory kebab house. Hopefully one day I'll make it to like Istanbul. That's up there on my list. I will be going to uh, Nepal in September for a month. So I'll be doing a, a lot of vlogs there. I'm going to do the Langtang Valley Trek. And then I want to go to, there's about five or six ta cities I want to go see, depending on the time and how it is. But I'm definitely going to do the Langtang Valley Trek. That'll take about 10 days out of it. So we still have 20 days to play with. If there's any areas in Nepal that you want me to see particularly, comment please and I'll try to make it possible to do it on my research. I have a few, like I said, a few spots already picked up. Look at this place, Patty's Blues. It's pretty neat, eh? Let's cross back over. So this one will take you back into town. And there's a, on the mural, see the mural, Patty there. That's very interesting. Kitchen Gory. Smells nice anyways on the outside here. I know you can't smell it on the GoPro. Maybe in the future something like that can happen. I'm getting kind of thirsty though. So your man wants to get something to drink. We're going to finish off the tour part. I'll cut off the video. And then if I see something or have a drink or I'll turn it on for that. But it's a really pleasant little town in the north side of the county of, of Wexford that I highly recommend. Like I said, I'll, sh I'll have all of the different details of what you can do here and places to see. But if you, if you want to just spend the afternoon shopping, like I said, there's you've seen the boutiques and the stores and the restaurants and the cafes and the pubs. There's a bit for everyone. You know, you don't have to always leave Ireland and you can take a look at the prices that they're reasonable. You know, the, I know Ireland is expensive, but it's mostly for the accommodation. There's the Miles Doyle's Fine Wines again from here side. Here's the Chihuahua stores. So it's a little convenience store, Halford. So it's a, another boutique, like I said. If, you're, if you need to get your hair done, it's the place to come. There's tons of them in Gori. Table 41. So here's another beauty salon. Michelle's Curvy Boutique. I wonder if that's for plus size ladies, I don't know. The name suggests that. Uh, curtain Bed Women. So here you have a whole bunch of, looks a bit like Guinea's. It's like Guinea's, uh, that you've seen uh, there's one in Waterford, there's one in Dublin. Actually, there was one in Belfast too. I, I personally don't like it, but Emily does. Here's a uh, Ming Garden. So it's a Thai, Malaysian Thai, Chinese takeaway. 
and Whitmore Jewelers. There's another Jewelers. See, see they show their types of prices. See, they have the prices on there. It's a little, you know what you're looking for, the price range. So it's a little, it's not that bad. And even the watches have the prices. You know, so you can do some window shopping and you know what you're going to get. And here's Boyle Sports. They're right across from Patty Powers and McGovern's Tavern. And here's Fowler Pub. And that's basically residential area back there. I can see a barber shop in the corner on the left. And the Fowler. Hmm. Interesting. And Lucky Sevens Arcade. CompuDoc, so another computer slash, you know, gadgets thing. Pamela Scott, another boutique. Bank of Ireland. It's one of the biggest bank in Ireland, in the Republic. And then the Wine Buff. So it's another wine store, specialty shop. Looks very uh, trendy. I guess Wexford Town has a similar one, uh, Green Acres. Here's Ladbrokes, there's another, so there's three bookies, all in the same competition with each other. Here's a nice old building. French's Wine and Spirits. Well, this part of it doesn't look, looks like Lawn Feed and that, but look at the uh, French's, the Premier House for all kinds of high class drinks and groceries, fancy bakery, best milled stuff and provisions French spirit so inside there I guess there's the shops there and that and then this would be the public house very interesting and then Donald's so that's like a bit of everything type of shop and then Quinn property another property agency so like you said people are looking for homes and wanting to sell them here's Bob's Lounge and then we're back at uh, Gino's Gelato, where we started off. And this is this is where I'm going to end the gory trip. I might turn it on again if I find a place that's suitable to videotape in. But please remember to uh, subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the bell button to so be notified for when my vlogs are coming up. I'm going to try to do some more in the future, in the near future, to keep uh, keep my channel going and make my way for the push when I go to Nepal. So thanks again for watching. So we just stopped off for a quick pint before the bus. It's a place called Brown's Pub. It's an old traditional type little pub, but it's very reasonable. Pint of Guinness was 470, which is the cheapest I've found in a long time in Wexford. So another thing to put on your agenda. When you come to Cory, stop in Brown's Pub.